So hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you the step that you should follow to create your EC2 instance inside your VPC. At first, you go to the search bar and search for VPC. Click on it. Should wait a little bit. First, we should create our VPC. Give it a name, my VPC, and give it IPv address. Then click on create VPC. Now, either we can create our internet gateway and attach it with our VPC or we create our subnet. Let us start with creating subnets within this VPC. So here, selecting this VPC and give it subnet to my public subnet 1. In which AZ means availability zone here, and they should give it a cider. It's 10.1.1.0.24. Then create subnet. We can create another subnet, a private subnet, inside our VPC. So, this is private subnet one. So I our availability zone ten. Sorry, two zero to four. Yeah, and we create it. next. We create our internet gateway because our VPC at the first time it will be not connected to the outside so to make it or to expose it to the outside we should attach it in internet gateway so I call it my internet gateway gateway and create it go to actions then attach it to vpc here you will have the vpc that we create earlier here then we attach our internet gateway now we should create our row tables this is where we will say to, uh, to our ec2 instance if it want to to, con to connect with the outside watch the route should go through to access to the to the internet so let us we we'll create two ta two row tables. One is called public root table, and this is will be in our VPC table. This is our private root. The next step now is to go to our to our public world table and add it the subnet. We will not add all the subnets, but only one, the public one, because this sub only the subnet that we want it to be accessible from the internet is this one, and save this. 
now we have to edit something else is the root because here this root is still only it's only the vpcs the ec2 instance sorry ec2 instance will be accessible between each other but they cannot access to the internet to make them access to the internet we should edit something here so any route that is destined to the internet means all the IP address you should go to the internet gateway and here this is the internet gateway that we created earlier then I save changes you will ask why we, we didn't do the same thing for the the private road table the private road table we don't want people to access to our ec2 instance or to our database inside this subnet that is why we made it as private for subnet here we will edit something else is public here go public actions and modify auto sign enable it then we save it so now we will go to our ec2 here or you can search it here if you don't have it in history this one go to instance and launch this is one select this one This one, this one we should create, uh, choose our VPC, and here it is the, the public and add to storage. Right, add a tag and name it EC2 instance. Right, then we give it the security group. So the security group here is to make an SSH to our EC2 instance. So the source will be everyone can make an SSH to our EC2 instance. But no one, but uh, only the ones that we will have our BM file that we will create later. So I will select an existing. Now just create one. Call it my usage in security group then my security group okay so review and launch here either you chose one of your key peers or create one so let us create another one see my Peer and we download it. Then we launch our instance. We wait a little bit and we go to view instance. If it is here. So it is running. So to connect to it, we'll use Mobox item. So for this, we we'll go here to SSH. We should go or take the, the public IP for our instance that we want to connect to it. Then we we'll give it username EC2 user. Then advanced settings. This is the key. There we have the result, it is here, and we open it, then we should wait a little bit. Yes, it works. It works. Now, if we say sudo root and cm, okay. 
update yes and it works thank you for your watching